Hey guys, guess who's back motherfucker, my name is Edward, and I love to create different visual stuff, and today, I'll teach you how to create something like this. Oh yeah, that was dope, so prepare some tea, and let's smash this shit. First, let's open After Effects, then import your video. Now, we need to track our footage, but first let's mask this hand. To make our tracking better, grab a pen tool, and make a mask. Then, just animate this in a few points. So this hand won't be visible. Don't forget to turn on inverted mask. Alright, one stage already behind. Then move this composition to the new composition. And cut the video in the moment when your visuals should start. And here we are. Let's apply 3D camera tracker. Let's wait a few minutes. Done. Then, let's select some points where graphics should be. For example here. Right click. Create solid and camera. Also, double click on the circle mask. To make a circle from our rectangle. Let's align a bit. We will use this solid later. Done. Now let's move to the next part. Once you've done the tracking process, let's add some sounds. I'll use this kick from Apache Pack. And this clap too. Then I just put it where I push the buttons. So now we have something like this. Now let's add some music. Special music. Oh shit, it's so hard to choose the music. Alright, let me use one of the Skrillex song. Oh yeah, the old one, but still banger. Move it to After Effects, and cut it where our drop starts. Nice. Also, let's add some rise, so it wouldn't be so roughly. Done. Precompose it, and we ready to move forward. Right now, we will create the main part of the video. Circles that react to the music. Create a circle like this. Then move anchor point to the center, using one of the scripts. Make it 3D. Oh no, where is it? Here you are little pussy. Hold shift, and parent this circle to the track solid. Then let's animate this circle. Position and scale. Make the graph like this, and now we have such an animation. Just duplicate this a few times where the waves should be. And now, the most difficult part of the tutorial. Creating circles that react to the music. I don't have any specific instruction on how to do this. Just look what I'm doing. For the first, I'll make the main base element. Only animate scale and opacity. Like this. Then I'll make markers, to know where the main kicks is. Hold shit and any number on your keyboard to make a mark. Now just duplicate this main circle a few times. Good, now let's create more waves. That comes upper, animate the position, move to the top, and duplicate a lot. I said a lot of times. Just listen to the music, and try to feel it. So after a few minutes, I got this animation. Looks awesome I think. Apply fast blur effects on the first shape. Make it a little bit blurry. Copy this effects, and pass on all circles that we've create. Duplicate camera, and select all circles layers with camera, and pre-compose it. Let's move on. 
Create an adjustment layer and apply wonderful plugin called Chromatic Displacement. Thank you, Red Giant, for this amazing product. Once you added plugin, here choose composition with circles and play with settings. I made settings like this and now we have this amazing effects with RGB colors. Let's add some final touches. One, two, three, four. Create an adjustment and apply tint to make all black and white. Also some curves to add more contrast. On the new adjustment, apply Deep Glow plugin, another amazing plugin for After Effects. Make a settings like this, and change opacity to 76 for example. Now let's add some solid circles. Duplicate circles composition in the project's windows. Turn off all effects, select all layers, and make stroke width like this. Add this composition to our main composition, and apply fill, to make this strokes red, and fast blur too, a little bit. Holy fucking shit it looks powerful, now we need to add more dynamic to the video. Create a new composition from this one, apply slider, and CC repertile effects. Increase the values, now go to position. Hold ALT and click on this watches, type wiggle, open brackets, 25, and parent to the slider. That's it. Now we can control wiggle with this slider. Animated on the drops. First keyframes is set to 0, then next frame set to 15. And then 0 again. Don't forget to play with the values, and add motion blur here and here. Now just copy keyframes to moments when the sound starts. Oh yeah, now it looks perfect. A bit color correction and we ready to go. Also you can add some exposure blinking on the drop. Let's watch what we've got. Oh, oh fuck, I forgot about something. We will use this solid later. Let me fix it. Loser! You're a loser! Are you Let's animate opacity on this solid. Well, you should be, cause you are dirt! You make me sick, you big babe! Like this, and now, our video is perfect. Let me render it. Done. That's it. That's how magic makes. By the way I grabbed the idea from Red Giant tutorial. So don't forget to check it out. One more thing. I want to see what you created with this tutorial. So let's post your version with your music to Instagram with hashtag. Base for motion. You can use whatever you want. Be creative and add something new to this. Hope your safety right now. See you soon, motherfucker. Bye. Oh, you still here? This is the end. Nothing happens. Why you watch this? Alright, you have 3 seconds to close this video 3, 2, 1, don't forget to hit thumbs up button. Oh come on. Okay, so for people who still here, look at this cat.